Hi everyone, what a wonderful privilege for me on Bainan to spend some time with you children, teachers and parents again. And once again I want to, I want to talk to you about salt and light today. But if you are the salt and light of, these, of, of the earth, then we must realize that we also need some values. And the first value that I want to talk to you about within the salt and light series is consistency. Consistency plainly means we need to do the same things yesterday, today and tomorrow, the same good things. And we, we must put, put the deed to, to, to our words and we need to be consistent. But I would like to talk to you about that a little bit later. Let's just praise and worship God with his next two songs. Awesome God. 
Let's just close our eyes and ask God to just assist us and lead us and help us so that we can understand what consistency means and how consistency will help us to change this world by being salt and light of this earth. Let's just close our eyes. Father God, thank you. Thank you that you gave us a character of consistency. Thank you that you asked us to be children with character, to be the salt and light of this earth. Father, thank you that we can know that when you ask us to do something, you know that we will be able to do that. So please, Lord, help us to understand what consistency means so that we can learn from you and that we also today that we will see who you are and how consistent you are so that we can do the same. In Jesus' name, amen. My dear friends, children with character are salt and light. The children with character are also consistent. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we must be the same. It's a big word, and the dictionary explains it with difficulty. But it means only this, one always has to act the same. And what you say and what you do must match together. We cannot say one thing and do something completely different. Why is it so important? Let's have a look at this news broadcast. It's very quick, so you need to follow. Are you ready? Important news. We live in a world that changes every day. Everything around us does not always seem the same. People's words and deeds differ. I cannot trust anyone. No one is consistent anymore. But God is always consistent. What he says in his word, that he does. He always acts the same and does not change. He remains faithful. Yesterday, today, same and forever. That is my God. That is my God. That he is consistent all the time. Yesterday, today and tomorrow. If we want to be consistent, we need to find the value in God. If we want to learn what consistency means and all the other new values, we must first seek the value of in God and see what it looks in Him. We need to get to know Him and to learn more of Him. Then alone, we will be able to be like Him. But what does the Bible say? Let's have a look at these three Bible verses and hear what it says about God. Are you ready? In Hebrews 13 verse 8, the Bible says the following about God. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jude Timothy 2 verse 13 says the following. If we are faithless, He remains faithful. He cannot deny Himself. In Malagi 3 verse 6 says the following. For I am the Lord. I do not change. This is my God. God's consistency makes our lives better. He is trustworthy, no matter what happens. He can always know for sure that He will not let us down. In Hebrews 11 verse 11, the Bible tells us of Abram who believed God and trusted God by faith for a child. He deemed God faithful and knew God is trustworthy to do what He promised. We can always depend on Him because He Himself says in Jeremiah 1 verse 12, 
for I am ready to perform my word. Whatever God says, He will do. But how else does God's consistency make our lives better? He has a good reputation. The, story that, the stories that are told of Him by people who have experienced all His consistency are good. And the stories we read in the Bible tells us of His consistency, His reliability, and that we can count on Him every single day. God's consistency tells His story of His faithfulness, His goodness, and His love. God is always the same. We can trust Him every time to do what He says. The Bible and His children tell the same story. If God is consistent, then we must also be like that. Our consistency must change the world in which we live. That's what it means to be salt and light. We must stop the world from getting worse, like salt preventing fruit to rot. And our light must drive away the darkness in the world. Without children of God, people who talk about Jesus and who change to look like Him, the world's getting worse and darker. We are like the medicine for the world. We have to be salt and light with consistency. Our liability must be seen everywhere. People must know that they can rely on us. We must have a reputation of being responsible. What we say must be in line with what we do. When people speak of you, the following words must be used. Trustworthy, consistent, reliable, always faithful. What is the consequence? Of consistency. We will be successful in everything we do. We will be able to deal with everything without fear because we know that if we are consistent, God is always consistent and He does what He said. Our story, our testimony and God's story will be the same. Our consistency will tell our story exactly as God's consistency tells His story. Our story and God's story will be the same. A story of goodness, faithfulness, and love. People will believe us when we speak because they know what we are saying and what we are, what we are doing are the same every time. And it is consistent with God's word. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Your story must be a story of salt and light. Let your story be a story of salt and light that illuminates the world around you. And always be consistent in what you do. It brings healing in a hurting world, just like salt brings healing. Will you accept this challenge today? Will you help your friends and challenge them to be the salt and light of this world? Will you help them to be consistent in everything they do, in everything they say, all the good and right things? If you are ready, we can challenge each other. I challenge you today. Live consistently. What you say and what you do must match. Learn consistency from God. He never changes. He is faithful. People trust you because you are a stalwart. Your story of consistency will tell God's God's story of consistency. Go and live it. My friends, wonderful to spend some time with you again today and to talk to you about consistency. But children with character who is consistent pray together as well. We need to help each other and we need to ask God to help us, to show us the way and to assist us to be consistent. If you are ready, we can pray. Let's just close our eyes. Thank you, Father God, for your example of consistency in your word. Thank you that I may see and learn from you. That way I become more and more like you. Help me to keep my word and deed in line with each other and not deviate from your example. Please help me that my life will be a testimony so that the world can see and change through my consistent behavior. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, it was wonderful for Salty and Lighty and myself to spend some time with you talking to you about consistency. And remember, Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, the words that you speak and the deeds that you do must be the same. I'm looking forward to spend some time with you again next time. Let's just finish with this song and praise and worship God again.